Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcats. Uh, I can't wait for Jordan to perfectly time his intro. I can't hear anything. Pop it one. Hello! <laughs> I'm going to be eating some banana bread throughout this podcast, and I will make chewing noises. But this is the worst it's intro ever. Guest. Me. My name's Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I thought he would say my name. Guys, I promise the podcast will get better. That was maybe our worst <laughs> intro of all time. Or was it the best intro? No, it time? was the worst. It was. The, I know it was the worst. Doing a pod without Zach, it's already falling apart instantly. Yeah, so that, that was really weird. The music was happening, but the whatever the layer was that the sound was on didn't exist. Uh, like the person speaking. So I just heard the... Do, 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 and I was like, is anything going to happen? <laughs> Surely <laughs> after hearing it almost 70 times, you would think you'd know when your bit is. No, but we we're doing the mix-ups. So oh, that's yeah. Up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a special guest edition because me. we have Nick on today, our favorite fifth underdog. We have a lot of fifth oh, underdogs, right. don't we? Two? Uh, no, a lot. Who else? Are we both the fifth? The editors, oh, uh, okay. Sophie. <laughs> everyone's the everyone's fifth. a fifth edit, uh, underdog. <laughs> we can't well, you, start, you can't have a favorite child, you know what I mean? Yeah. Favorite so you can't fifth have underdog. A fifth, favorite fifth. You can't have a fifth underdog. They're all fifth underdogs. Hey, do we press record? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, good. Sorry. <laughs> no faith in me. What yeah, do you mean? well, I'll just, it has, the production value's been low so far, so I thought I'd check. Yeah, can you guys tell that Zach does a lot of the behind the scenes <laughs> yeah. stuff? He's pretty clever. He's pretty smart. Either that or he's made it in such a convoluted way that nobody else knows how to do it. That's also do possible. Do you need practice, like set up some tricks and traps for us? Yeah, yeah. There'll be some audio clip, like halfway through the podcast, he's just going to start monologuing <laughs> about lucid dreaming or something on the recording. <laughs> well, the TV took us half an hour to turn on because it's the weird. Button placement. Clip button. Yeah. You can't find a what it. button? Clip, he said. Clip. Clip, Clip button. Yeah, Clip my mum listens to the pod. Uh, how are you doing today, Nick? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you. You got any <laughs> awesome insights to talk about on the pod today? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when did, we just, when, did, when did this decide to Oh, happen? 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay. Nice. nice. I woke up. Because he was like... like you should come on the podcast. I was like, all right. No, it was more like Nick was like, I really want to be on the podcast so much and make my I day. love the underdog. He does it every time, under- but it's like you walk past like a homeless person. It's the same thing. You're like, just don't ignore him. But today, I sit outside my room with a sign. Yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. Let me on, please. Yeah. 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 But today we thought, come on. Come, come on, on in with the big boys. Well, because birthday it's today. birthday today. Woo. So the Happy birthday. birthday. Oh, we're not doing this two weeks in a row. To we, should, you. we should finish it there. I'll sing it to you after the pod. Did we do it right. last week as well? For me. We did it for Jordan's. Man, that was two weeks ago. Uh, I wasn't here for that. Like I think. Bad friend. Don't did remember Jordan singing get a, happy birthday. Did Jordan get a solo show? Yeah, but that was at the well. end of the pod. We'll do that at the end. All right. Are you yeah, a solo show? Whoa. Oh, I'm, sick. I'm hoping it comes with a dance. Um, Maybe a sexy dance. I mean, we, we're trying to promote the podcast on audio platforms, so we might have to hold the sexy dance. So no, the- we can commentate the dance. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a Patreons only. Yeah, sort of it thing. might be a Patreon only <laughs> special. I think, guys, join the Patreon. How are we doing? Uh, so yeah, today we've got some awesome segments lined up. Uh, we've got. Uh, why don't we? Give a, we never give a preview of what we're going to talk oh, about. Oh, like a little teaser. Why don't we teaser. give a little teaser trailer? Ooh. That would work. That's what the, all the TV shows do, right? They spoil Coming the entire up. show yeah. before you watch it. It yep. sucks. I always go. La, la, la. Hey, really? Right. Well, yeah. don't do that. Don't do that now. Do or that. if you're going to do that, don't do it to a microphone, please. Well, guys, if you're going to watch the pod anyway, maybe go la, 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 for spoilers. But if you're like on the fence, then listen. Listen real yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're on the fence, you're gone. <laughs> We've lost him. <laughs> We've lost him. There anyway, are no fence sitters. They are falling off. If you're still on the fence, unbelievable. Please stay. Here's a preview. Like, oh. if, if you're still on the fence, you're, you've never been on TikTok before. Your attention span yeah, yeah. is fucking fantastic. You're awesome. Um. And, all right. Well, c- on, coming up on today's podcast. Dun dun. The, now say what? But oh, uh, we've got embarrassing stories from our Patreons. We're gonna read out. And we're gonna rate them. We're gonna rate we're gonna your rate embarrassing them. stories yes. and see how embarrassing it really is. Yeah. I've given all my... Yeah, we don't have any more embarrassing stories yeah, to give. You and Zach have talked ad nauseum about how much <laughs> you shit your pants. So, yeah. It's we kind of scary. Have, yeah. Oh, like. <laughs> Although, Nick, you are one of the most expert shitters I've ever uh, I'm, uh, encountered. What does that mean? I mean he just has great shit stories. Enthusiast, yeah. What? I like I like a good shit oh, story. So one, of our, one of our best <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> shitters. Oh, also coming up <laughs> on today's <laughs> podcast, a better segment. Uh, what else are we talking about? Uh, I got a question. Jordan has a question. Is it good? <laughs> it's all right, actually. It's not bad. Well, no, it's, actually, it's great. It's it actually amazing. is a question. 
Um, and Nick, what Jordan's are, question of the week is one of the questions of all time. It's actually a question I was thinking about that oh, I really? don't know the answer to. Nick, oh, think cool. about your amazing preview segment, and I'll I'll say uh, I'm going to be talking about revisiting things from your childhood and seeing if they're any good. So, do you have anything? Patrons in the chat that someone you... said about Phineas and Ferb. Have you revisited that? Revisited Ooh. Phineas and Ferb. What what have you revisited? Has it held up? Is it going to hold up? We'll discuss that yes. coming up with today's pod. Oh. And coming from Nick, a great segment, and it's a surprise. Wow! Oh. That oh. offense is a big offense. <laughs> yeah. No spoiling. You're have no to spoiling. wait and find out. <laughs> oh my god! The, this this, this hit I'm... after hit after hit today. Definitely thought about it a long time. Wow. Yeah, it's, he it's has gonna been be good. Sitting it's gonna out be the good. whole way for weeks now, <laughs> waiting to be on the podcast. So it must yeah, be a huge this podcast. One segment. Oh, I'm pumped. Fuck me, that's gonna be dope. Do you think we look alike? Um, no. Yeah. Do you, Jordan? Well, how much alike is alike? Like, if you were penguins, I would think you're the same. <laughs> All right, yeah, that'll do for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like. Can you please elaborate on the point, no, Jordan? No, no cause like, I'd like to know more. I think because we're people, we know what people look like. Because Holly and I were watching Chimp Empire, which is like a documentary on chimps, right? Has anyone seen this? No. No. Oh, it's crazy. It's actually very impressive. But they're exp- they give them all names and stuff. If they were any other animal, I think they all look the same. But chimps, that I could tell each one different apart. You know what I mean? Is that because chimps are like because they're like humans. almost us and like humans have evolved. They're like us, to... but just the most evil parts. It's like us if we didn't have a frontal lobe where we can make decisions. Yeah, so like, it was like monkey brain. There's no laws or anything in chimp world, you know. Like no, we well, have they like kind of law. Are. There's social well, constructs. The law. Less, far, far less. Yeah, like you can leader. never like kill another chimp. Yeah, everyone's, and everyone's like, like mm. what was that chimp doing? Yeah, that kind. Of, they got they got their little society though, their little hierarchy. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, got the classic like alpha male stuff. Yeah. It's pretty funny. They get they get me hyper though when they go. Hoo, hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Did you start doing that at the TV? Jordan's just in front of the TV at home. I'm always like, I'm just what realizing in the world? we're almost chimps. I can tell them apart when they're excited. They get me excited. I think you're almost. Do you chimps. No, 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 like, <laughs> like if, if a giraffe gets excited. It doesn't get you excited. What, it doesn't get me excited. It's just going to be like, it's like the sounds aren't getting me excited. But right. when a chip's like, ooh, ooh, and it's like getting pumped up, I'm like, oh, let's you go. Boy. You understand yeah. chips, Jordan, yeah, is what that's you're what saying. I'm saying. You know, that's like a residual thing from when you were a monkey. Yeah, I think so. I think it's because we're so close. <laughs> I'm like, that hasn't happened to me, but maybe I'm not as close when to you. When you were a monkey, you <laughs> specifically. <laughs> yeah, Jordan, like, before the surgery, when you were a monkey. When you're born, you're a monkey. You were popping off. You're ooh, ooh, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the yeah, the chips start like ooing and you like Holly and pulls like, on your leash. It's almost trying to get you back into form. <laughs> it almost sounds like, you know, the crowd's getting pumped. Yeah, yeah right. I can see they share m- similar emotions and like facial yeah, yeah, like yeah. you can probably read their face a bit better because it's more similar to ours. Yeah, exactly. Chips are our closest uh, relative. relative that we have. And to yeah. be fair, like Alive. humans also go like, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah. that's what I'm saying. They're yeah. getting pumped. I'm getting pumped. I beat my chest like a gorilla sometimes. You know, I like bananas. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. throw your shit? <laughs> oh, occasionally, but only like in the shower. Shit reference. Ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Got away with that one. Where do we want to start? What, what do you mean? What segment? What? We're not used to lining it up, are we? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Who's going to go first? <laughs> Organisation's like oh, broken God. us. Um, well, shall I say my question then? Yeah, I think so. That's all right. started with an intellectual question. Uh, just a question. Yeah, no, an intellectual question. Oh, intellectual question. question. Guys, okay. I, I, all right. I, I, I'm not going to be able to hear this. Oh, you got to give me the I, cue. I'll, I'll, um, I'll sing it to you. Also, Nick's going to be the first one to answer it. Peter and I are going to be quiet. Ooh, good. See what happens. Yeah, that worked. Question of the week. But I'm bum. But I'm bum. <laughs> Do I go? Do I go? Well, I couldn't hear it because I took the headset off to go and... Zach, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it worked. It worked. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, my question is a grain, like, oh, what was it again? Like a grain kind of made up or what's the other thing? It's protein. Talk to Nick. Peter and I are sitting this one out. Okay. Okay. So we've got protein, mm-hmm. carbs, a carbs. carbs made up. Because like, I think nowadays people are like, oh, you need some carbs. Yeah. But back in... May, or just after chimp days, when we're like, just after. you know, walking around. Yep, yep. We're like, you eat your pro, t- you eat your meat, you eat some vegetables. Where are you getting your carbs? Where's your bread from? I don't think people did that. Your bread. I think it's made up. <laughs> they didn't have bread then. No, I don't think they so did. Because ha- like, people say now, oh, you need to get enough grains, get your fiber. Um, Pasta. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe this should just be the segment we bring Nick in every yeah. week. <laughs> and we get Nick to answer they the question. Pasta. They, they wouldn't have had pasta. Think yeah, of your ju- you think of you're a chimp and now you're just not anymore. Cause like, no, but you're an Italian chimp. The world didn't exist as we knew it, but there was still like Italy, like the region of Italy. So Shut there would have been pasta. <laughs> you're dumber than me. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, ask shit, get shit. <laughs> no, that's a good question. Oh, okay, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Like yeah, and yeah, stuff, yeah. Right? But I don't think you eat a grain. Okay, what's a potato? A vegetable. And, and does a potato have carbs in it? But what if you didn't live in Ireland? <laughs> in Australia, there's no potatoes, right? I I there are, are actually. Sweet potatoes, yams, unlike... Yeah. Other root vegetables will have a lot of carbs in them. Oh. Little and known fact about indigenous people, they actually farmed yams before the uh Yeah, European Australian settled. Yams have carbs. Yes. Well they're sweet potatoes. Wait, I thought a y- oh I think of a yabby. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> like the crab. Yeah, the cr- little crab. Holy shit. <laughs> the yams. Um, and you know like every like vegetable has carbs in it. Oh, so that's why. So well, why what, what do you think th- is in them? Sugar is a carb. Well, I just heard yeah. proteins, yep. vegetables. You mean that? What do you mean? What, you, what, protein vegetables. What do you mean? There's <laughs> protein in vegetables, some of them. Yeah. Well, I think we've solved it, haven't we? I guess. But you don't, so you don't need, when people say you need your fiber, you don't need to eat bread. There's not much fiber in bread per se. Yeah. Oh. Unless it's like the high fiber. You mean carbs? Are you so, uh, I'm get, you're confusing I thought me. they were the same thing. <laughs> fiber and carbs. <laughs> I thought they were similar. Like, because when they say fiber, there's always a picture of a bit of wheat. <laughs> you know? No. <laughs> there is. Is there? There's always a picture of it. You're of very wheat. confused about your uh, nutrition. Um, your mum is a nutritionist, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't need to learn She's it. She's failed. I just had to eat it. <laughs> she I hope had, she calls yeah, you up. Yeah, then what happens when you move out? <laughs> then I just eat the same stuff. I, I think we should have pop mum on the pod next week Love to that. just <laughs> lecture you about the difference between carbohydrates and fiber. She would probably be down. She said she was. She was. She sent me a message yesterday saying she couldn't. Um, finish listening to our compliment tracks on the train because she was laughing too hard. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> respect, respect to your mum for that one. She but then I remembered my compliment track and I was like, oh dear. Ooh, not too proud of that one for <laughs> mum. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, sometimes mum needs to hear these things. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she needs sometimes. To. All right, I'm going to send your mum a DM with some of the things you've hey, said. She needs to hear it. She needs to hear she it. She needs to hear it. Respect. All right, well, great question, Jordan. Jokes, it was a terrible question. Next segment. It got us thinking, but it got us thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at the end of the day, all the nutrition stuff doesn't matter, I think. All right, brilliant. It kind of just comes <laughs> to sleep <laughs> It just comes no, down to great. eat some meats and some vegetables. That is nutrition. Yeah, having a balanced diet. Yeah. I think that's what they do say. That's literally what it is. Yeah, so I feel like you don't need to learn it. Yeah, if you just have a healthy balance, but what is a healthy balanced diet? That's what I'm saying. Know. Just eat the meats and the vegetables. Yeah, but other people don't know that. Have well, you seen Americans? Yeah, they don't know that <laughs> shit. <laughs> they have like dino nuggets. They, I'm pretty sure. I think I would die if I went there. I think we surpass them. What do you in mean? a bad way. In uh, obesity rates. Yeah. I think we oh, may yeah. have. But I just mean like the food seems crazy there. Oh, it does. Sizes and... Massive. I've never been, but oil. I've heard stories. Yeah, I just I've kind of made that up based on what I've seen on no, TV. No, Zach, Zach did say that. I wish he was here, but... Oh, by the way, Zach's not here because he has a really bad oh, cough. Yeah, we forgot we didn't actually say that, but yeah, Zach is all... Uh, he's in the house right now. But he's downstairs, so but hopefully the cough air isn't up here. Yeah. Should be right. Yeah, should be right. I've been living in it for like and a you're week okay? now. Yeah, I'm fine. All right, brilliant. Um... What's the next segment? Are we going... Oh, we're rapid firing. Dude, yeah, yeah. this is great. I love it. We, I feel like we have a, a plan. Yeah, yeah. This is exciting. <laughs> no no ambling about. And man, when we get to Nick's segment at the end, oh, yeah. I am going to... Uh, where's the button? Here he goes. Oh, oh. This is why we need someone on the, the buttons. He's going to... What's he going to... I'm crumbing. Oh, I'm crumbing. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Great reference. I'm glad... Yeah, we've all got a plan. We've all got our segments sorted. Yeah, we're all yeah. grubbing. I can't wait. Um, we can do our mind. No, let's do your, I think <coughs> yours me. sort of leads into it. Like, what is nutrition? All right, back to being a child. Back to being a child. Yeah. So, <coughs> recently I've been kind of revisiting some things from my childhood or just like, I don't know, my teenage years and seeing if they actually hold up at all. Because some things mm. you like because they're good and some things you like because you liked it. Yeah. Do you get what I I'm agree. saying? Like th- that sounds like a stupid statement, but sometimes you just don't know any better when you're young. I think children just like things more. Yeah, t- children they haven't got jaded. They have don't hate the world yet. Sense They've- of wonder. Is it that or is it experience? <laughs> like they if you've never like say you're born 
on the moon. Yeah. Someone mm-hmm. grows a tree. You're like, holy shit. Is there any carbs in that tree? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you would be pretty amazed by if it was the first tree you'd ever seen. Yeah, so children, it's like, whoa, everything's like Yeah, that. everything is interesting to a kid because it's all new and different. It's like why the first time you listen to like a... Music or something as a kid. I, music's one of the things I was listening to. Yeah. Like, Damn, this is crazy. This is so yeah, crazy. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, oh, wait a minute. This is actually kind of bad. Yeah. So if something, like, we've seen it all now, you know? If something new came up, like a uh, <clears throat> bright blue rhinoceros, we would be impressed. Yeah, exactly. Like but tree, tree two. Yeah. yeah. If they made tree two, because tree one was pretty good. So yeah, exactly. They made the sequel. So everything's more exciting. Everything's more exciting. So, but <clears throat> it's, sometimes it's a bit of an experience to look back at things because... Sometimes it's better to just leave it as a happy memory. Sometimes it's better to not did revisit you, did it. Did you have a bad experience? Yeah, what hasn't held up? What happened? Talk to us. <laughs> okay, so... We're here for you. You I can was, lie down if you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thera- this is my therapy, therapy session. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. Uh, well, I've kind of... I know that everyone already has this opinion, and Jackson and Jordan probably have this opinion. But, man, Pokemon is just not good anymore. It's really sad. Wait, I've, I've finally come around. The, the game? Sh- the game? Yeah. Yes. Like I won't lie. Oh my as soon god! As you said things that didn't hold up, I thought of Pokemon. Yeah, it's really, really like it's really they haven't done anything interesting in the past like ten years. And oh, it's pretty great. What about the old games? Do they hold? I up? I think that for their time, they were really good. Yeah, but I I wouldn't go back and replay them because it's a little bit like slow for today's pace. Yeah, but mm. I can like because everyone who emulates these games nowadays puts them on like two hundred percent speed. Yeah, yeah, and like then it's a acceptable experience i remember that but playing like, on my phone eight times speed yeah dude double <laughs> like, if you need double speed to make it's like it's just not it doesn't really yeah. fit today's climate i'm not saying it's bad i still think they're good and but it just doesn't really fit today's climate anymore and then also after playing tears of the kingdom a lot mm-hmm. man they they do new stuff in the sequel <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. i'm like what the hell yeah, that's why like, when is i was playing allowed? tears of the kingdom i was like this is like new this is awesome <laughs> yeah it's yeah. like they do something and Settle it surprises out. you and you're like, wow. And I'm yeah. like, I think the last time I said wow in a Pokemon game was 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> I'm like, ow, it just hurts. And I was having this this existential moment because I was just like, but I love Pokemon. It's, it's part so of my depressing. identity. It's so uh, depressing. Oh, shit. And I was like, oh, no, I'm sad now. I let go of it a while ago. It's just tough. Oh. they just no good. I had that when I went to back to watch the Pokemon TV show. Oh, I never liked that. the game, but I liked the show. And you go back and watch the show and it's just a rinse and repeat the same yeah, thing yeah, yeah. every episode. Here comes episode. Jesse and James. So Here comes... Bad. Oh, it's actually trash. I kind of like it. Yeah. Because it's so just... It's a bit nostalgic for me, maybe. I have season yeah. one on DVD. Oh, I, see, really I only like got, it. Maybe if I got through a few more episodes, I would come around, but I watched like three or four. And I was like, oh, you've pretty much seen it then. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> so they really have the changed. formula. Yeah. They've got a down pack. They know what works. Yeah. Why change it? Yeah. They, they got a new yeah. protagonist. They got rid of Ash. What? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He graduated. Yeah, like this year, they finally he, got rid of him. Graduated? graduated? What's it called? He beat the league or whatever. He right? like peaked, yeah. yeah. How he did peaked. he graduate if he like doesn't age? No, not graduate. He just became the champion. He, he became that's the, the, the champ. That's the what overall, I was looking for. The overall <laughs> champ. Graduated. Yeah. Yeah, shout out. To, he just fucking worked hard, man. Pull yeah. one out for my boy Ash. Yeah, he always kind of got cucked at the line, didn't he? Yeah. Poor guy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I was like, I appreciate the nostalgic parts of these, and I think the old ones, but man, they just haven't done anything new in so long. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking about making a video about it, but then also making a video with your opinions about Pokemon is just a risky move. Also kind of <laughs> yeah. dunking on something that obviously there's constantly new people who like it. Yeah, it's going to like... It's not going to be... Like, your opinion is obviously subjective. Yeah, I don't think I'd be dunking on it per se because I still like it, but it's just like... Uh, I just don't like the new ones as much as, let's say, I like Tears of the Kingdom versus Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, yeah, with, yeah. with Breath of the Wild 2, it's a comparison, they could have taken the same four runes, you know what I mean? Like, the bombs and the, the magnesis and mm. the stasis. They could have just done that. And they could have just done that. But they were like, no, I want to give them the ability to build things. Yeah. I want to give them the ability to fuse any two items together. It's like, they didn't have to go and do that. No. And, but Pokemon never does anything like that. They just say, oh yeah, we'll just take the old one and just put in the new one. But the whole game industry is kind of lacking that innovation these yeah. days. That's why I was so impressed with Tears of the Kingdom because I was like, holy shit, this is just new. Mm. Like, even if it's like I play a game that I'd never played before, like Overwatch, like I get there's new powers and stuff, but it's like, it's nothing, cr- it's like 
not blowing my You've mind. Seen it yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think like FIFA and COD started this whole thing. Oh yeah, just release, release every, every year. year. Yeah. The every year release just to like cash into the Christmas season with yeah. the same shit recycled. But did Pokemon probably did actually. Pokemon, Pokemon does came that. out so early. Yeah, but I feel like they were innovating quite early. They honestly Maybe the that's first my oh. when I was thinking about making a video about this, this is just my base idea. So you can tell me if it's way off, but the first generation was obviously quite a new thing yep mm-hmm. and that's real good the second generation added held items okay. it added two new types it added a whole nother like region on top of it which was new oh, so, they... like, i remember being shocked when yeah. i didn't realize that you could go back to and, Kanto. and oh. then gen 3 added abilities yeah okay it added um let, it was like the world because they had the gba which had c- better colors better graphics yeah they made the world way more kind of environmental based before they were all a bit monotone, like the roots were yeah, all very yeah. similar looking. Yeah. But then Gen 3 went with like a magma place, a water place, a forest place. True. Like they really expanded on the world building. That's cool. And then Gen 4 kind of went with like more lore and a bigger overarching story. And then since then, I think 5 is also good, but then since then they haven't added much new, in my opinion. Yeah, that makes sense. Although Call of Duty kind of innovated their way to being shit. <laughs> like, like everyone Call of Duty was huge and then they started adding jetpacks and all this shit and everyone stopped playing Have you ever heard yeah. the term like I think it's jumping the shark I could I could be yes, getting this wrong jumping the, term, the shark yeah. it's where you just like do something too good too early and then you can't you just spend the rest of your life trying to eclipse this moment you get like you peak too early kind it's of basically thing. like it's like we're like you know you add jetpacks what do you add after that and then it has to get increasingly ridiculous every time to the point where it's just like over the top yeah it's like where you just like do something absurd really early on and then you're just like well how do i ever live up to that again is yeah. that correct I, i'm not sure if this is 100 percent right i thought it was something slightly different when reach a point when far-fetched events are merely for the sake of novelty indicating indicative of a decline in equality right so they just add a new gimmick every They're doing time stuff for the sake of doing stuff yeah i feel like that's what they did with jetpacks and shit yeah, yeah. Like they had the game figured out everyone's loving it yeah. there's modern warfare 2 and that's a banger like black ops 2 banger like the banger banger and then they're like let's spice it up boys let's do a jetpack Jetpack is like yeah, oh, like this space sucks. combat. Jetpack, yeah. the same with like Pokemon. They're like Dynamaxing and shit. It's yeah, like it doesn't need to be ways. another gimmick. It's they're not really that interesting, is it? Yeah, mm. but it's tough because they're like, oh, when we added more different worlds, people like that. So they're probably gonna like this. I don't know. It's yeah. it's weird because you got to it'd be innovative, but not too innovative. Yeah. Well, did you have a good thing you went back to, or was that yes. your main one? Yes, Ooh. I did actually. Does anyone else want to go? I feel like I've been talking a lot. Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, Inspector Gadget, they are shit. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, the movie, the cartoon. The movies, they were a big part of my childhood. Oh, no. And they are terrible. Don't tell me that. Yeah, don't watch it. Yeah, I remember liking it as a kid. Oh, don't watch the best. it. Do not, do not rerun right, that. I won't watch it. I just was like, oh, what? <laughs> what? I couldn't believe how bad it was. But I, I feel like a lot of things are worse. I was like, Holly, she was so hype about this Sims game. She used to play with her brother. What was it, it was called? On the, it was the Xbox Sims where you could play split screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we spent all this time. We got the emulator set up and we're just ready to play it. It's the biggest dog shit I've ever seen. <laughs> we spent five minutes and Holly was like, this is so bad. Like it wasn't like I had no nostalgia. So off the bat, I was like, man, this sucks. <laughs> Holly was like, yeah, this sucks. Like it was so bad. But a good one was going back to playing GTA San Andreas. Yeah. Which is absolute banger of a game. Because... Weirdly, that game still has a lot of stuff you can't do in the new one. Like, you could... They had a lot more stats and skills. Like, you could go to the gym and get buff, and then your character does more damage. You it's could like more of an RPG go to a almost? gym and learn martial arts, and then you can do that. Like, none of the new GTAs have that. Interesting. You know? I don't know. It just held up. It was this great game. Are oh, you going to have one thing that held up? What's that? I, I think of something that held up. Oh, uh-huh. Sims 2. Oh, that's good. That used to be huge, actually. Lots of charm in Sims 2. That used to be like the biggest game, yeah. I swear. So there's, there's mine. We have to have a good one and a bad one. Did you have, you have one of each? I have you a good did. one coming up. Oh, all right. Well, we'll go to Nick and then we'll come back around. Stay on the fence. I feel like we've all said like video games. So True. I'll keep that going. Um, Didn't hold up Age of Empires. Oh, Probably oh, my first video game. Yep. Got it on like the CD-ROM. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sunk so many hours into that game. Got it on Steam like maybe last year. Yep. Um, booted it up and it's just oh man, terrible. Maybe it's because I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But like, <laughs> yeah, I tried. I tried. I thought oh. that did hold up. I thought someone told me that did hold up. Another game that holds up, Left 4 Dead. Oh, oh yeah. They need to make a new one that. of that. Yeah. Oh. And, and then games that 
did hold up. Can be movies, TV, anything. I mean, I gotta say, like TF two. Oh well, yeah. Like the first game that I started playing with, like Peter and Zach, like other people, yeah, as a social thing. And I feel like every time I go back to it, it's just like a very enjoyable experience. But so. we picked a good one to start off with because that game is legitimately legendary in terms of like the PC gaming sphere. The mm. fact that so many people still make content for it fifteen years later is crazy. I still watch it. Yeah. Of, I don't even play the game that much anymore. Um, update from Zach, who is downstairs. My first crush was on Penny from Inspector Gadget Two. Thanks, Zach. I think he's. I remember him telling me that before. I don't remember. I don't remember the characters. I'm Penny, not if I'm correct, Zach is the character that is the other robot. No, it's not. It's the other person. He told us this. It's uh, not like I always get confused. The female. It's the other person. Yeah, I, we've clarified this on the pod before. Yeah. It's a strange that Zach's crush on Inspector <laughs> Gadget two characters have come up more than once. But you know, it's cool. Here we are. All right. Is Penny um, the my, uh, love interest of Inspector Gadget. I think so. How would uh, robot slash human? Or maybe it's not. Coitus occur. We'll find out very soon, I'm sure. I mean, yeah, AI, sex yeah. bots. Zach has looked it up. Okay. I'm sure he'll put it in the chat <laughs> for us. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Um, oh. My thing that did hold up was I actually went back and listened back to a bunch of Muse albums, which was my oh, favorite Muse. band yeah. growing up. And I was like, damn, this shit actually does slap. This shit does slap you pretty hard. You love Muse. I did. I know, like, and it's funny because I haven't heard What's some Muse of the song. Song? What's it's a uh, Muse is a band. The oh. one I know is Undisclosed Desires. Can you sing it? No. I don't know anything. You probably wouldn't know it. It's, it's, oh, okay, it was, okay. They're really popular in England, but I mean, not oh, so okay, okay. much here. They're still pretty big, but. Holy shit. Zach said it's the child from the movie, but Zach was also a child, so not I weird. I was also a child. <laughs> so <laughs> <not weird>. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, brilliant. But yeah, it's funny because I haven't heard these albums in like let's say like five ten years mm. and then they start playing and i'm like my brain just starts kicking together i'm like wait a minute i know every word to the song yeah and I like your brain just kind of just starts revealing I'm like yeah. oh, oh i actually know all of this i know how this goes exactly for like every song in the album i was a massive fan brains are crazy that's like me with a uh, green day oh yeah because you know i used to love a bit of green You're day a fiend for it <laughs> i actually noticed listening to green day like last year i think yep. i started like after three or four songs i started getting that like teenage angst yeah <laughs> i started being like real angry i'm like fuck, fuck you system. Mom. yeah <laughs> slam my door yeah, 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 yeah. right i don't want to be an american idiot that would suck <laughs> it's actually like do the dishes you're like not again <laughs> smashing the dishes on the floor <laughs> slam my door shut <laughs> Far out. Yeah, but it was like, pretty crazy. And then, but then I, I went to listen to their new stuff and I was like, oh God. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's, it was bad. Oh, no. And I don't know if uh, this is a hot take. It might be a hot take, but oh God, it was just, it was, I, it actually made me laugh. Did they try to innovate? Did they do a bit they of a change that sound every album. They changed the sound every album. And the oh. first couple of times it was a good idea. And then they That's ran. Interesting. It's like us with doubles with a twist, you know, we kind of ran out of twists. <laughs> no, but that and, holds up. No, that, no, that holds I, up. I, I don't know. We're, we're, we're washed. We didn't jump the shark with that. No. The other dog's videos hold up. <laughs> Yeah, like, I wonder if in like 10 years it'll be like, oh, what holds up? It's like, oh, I was watching those underdogs videos. Dude, you know what's not going to hold, hold up? up? Fear Pong. Fear Pong is not going to hold yeah. up. No, that will hold up. That's, no. That's never ending. No. That's a, you know. Peter and I are two haters and your defenders no, not here. watching it. Watching it holds up. No. no. I still don't think it holds <laughs> up. I enjoyed watching it. Oh, no. Yeah. I just have to say, you guys uh, probably don't enjoy it because you're all bad at Fear Pong. It's no, I don't do enjoy it because of the punishments. Yeah, the punishments. If yeah. we were all good at Fear Pong, then we would still do the same punishments. Yeah. We went to a Smash tournament. You immediately tweeted out that you hated it. Yeah, I, that was a joke. I didn't actually hate <laughs> oh, okay. it. Okay, I did hate losing. That sucked. But uh, yeah, that feeling that, is still bad. The rest of it is good. Like the actual playing and losing part is not good, but yeah. the rest of it's pretty good. Playing and winning, well, that's awesome. Actually, yeah. I didn't even care that much about playing and winning. That's my problem. Yeah, I don't oh, no. take. I don't get enough joy out of winning to make up for the sadness of losing. Yeah, that's just what, yeah. being there and commentating was more enjoyable than playing at all. Yeah, well, you kind of hung hung around for the longest in the end. In yeah, terms because of, I had to you're support on the comms. my boy. I had to support my man yeah yeah i don't know should we spoil I, it, it was live it was streamed. live yeah i also felt that after losing i was like oh man i lost this sucks <laughs> this kind of sucks actually which what was did a you victory. where did you place second and it was like it was many games in it was a long time there was so many like game fives it was like, like, in like best of super fives. close and yeah i lost and i was like shit didn't you three O race at reset the bracket? As I well? did three O to reset the bracket, but then, then they kind of adapted, tuned. and then my brain just didn't have any muscle memory anymore of how to adapt back, and I was like shit. And then it was like, I knew that I was bad now because it took me so like when I got home, I was like, oh, that would have been the answer. That's something I think I'm actually reasonably good at. I noticed I lost a lot of game ones and one after that. Yeah, so that's good. I th something I was still reasonably good at. That's clutch. Well, yeah, I, I don't think people really do appreciate how much of a slog it is to win 
a tournament <laughs> was, because of how yeah. fucking long it takes yeah, and man. how many games you have to play. If you're That's why it cooked me as well. Okay, this is going to sound like the biggest John. but I mean, is, it is, but it's yeah, allowed. Okay, this is the truth, right? So let me just explain. The grand finals, I am... I'm in losers, so I've got to beat this guy twice. Yeah. I win three in a row, then I win another one to start the next guy. Yeah. I'm like, I'm on fire, and I'm like, I'm so dead, though. Yeah. I'm so exhausted of, like, the day of the smash. concentration. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to take myself out of the zone for this next game and just kind of chill so I can I get back in it harder. Yeah. And then I didn't win another match. You just yeah. fumbled it. I didn't, I didn't win another match. Yeah. I like think when yeah. you go on a break at work and you sit down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, what get back like. up. that's what it was like when you're like, oh, you know, I will just have a nap and then I'll come back harder. Yeah. No. Complete cope. Oh, complete lie. Man. Completely fucked I came me. over to you and you were on commentary and we did comms and I said, I am exhausted. I forgot yeah. how hard it is to like concentrate this much. It was brutal. Yeah, it was hard work, and I didn't come second. <laughs> my comment, I was just uh, my commentary got more and more unhinged as the it night does. went on. As the, it was, <laughs> you're a legend. Yeah, you kind of were like, yeah, you were just on the comms the whole time. I was like, hey, Peter's my maybe enjoying this his time here. I, I do like commentary. <laughs> um, I hope anyone else likes my commentary. That's the only thing. I'm like, luckily it was underdog fans. Yeah, l- in the chat. Luckily, luckily I've got the the majority rules on that one, yep. and also nobody else was there asking to do it. Yeah, so that was fine. But I was like. Fuck, I was talking about some random shit. <laughs> I was I was saying to Jordan when I was on there, I was like, my goal in this in this tournament is to get into a Yeet Smash clip oh, yeah. by talking absolute hogwash yeah. while something really cool is happening. And then it just gets taken out of context and put on Yeet Smash and then you just look the world's worst commentator. Yeah, that's good. That was my goal. Respect. Respect. Yeah, I got exhausted of commentary and playing and I went outside. Yeah, you motherfucker. You were being you were not being a good friend. I did a lot of commentary early, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, well deserved beer. Exactly. Yeah. He was having a beer. And well, Peter has a face to commentary as well. What the f- <laughs> There's a camera in commentary, bitch. Shut up, Nick. Did you have a beer on comms? Uh, no, I, I had oh, to drive home. Out. I only had one oh, beer. true, yeah. I had a few beers. Yeah, because uh, I was driving you, you yeah. fucking lazy. Shout out. <laughs> slob. Well, I didn't have a car, so. Probably going to buy a car this weekend. Oh, really? It's going to be so exciting. What are you going to buy? Damn. I'm getting uh, Ferrari. friend of the show, Brandon's old car. Yeah. What does he have? Is that Brandon from Tell, Tell That's Your Auntie? Tell That's Your Auntie, you have a Pulsar, I would recommend it. No, he's not a Nissan Pulsar. It's a Holden Commodore. Ooh. 2010. Something. That's an Australian classic. Yeah, it is a bit of an you Australian know, the, classic. The, the people probably don't really know much about Holden's because it's like the one Australian car brand that still exists. It's not Australian anymore, though, well, I found out. Australian owned. They yeah. don't. No, not anymore. It's not. Australian oh, really? Quite right? recently, yeah. Uh, it's now American. but American? Oh, wow. uh, or maybe Japanese. I can't remember. <laughs> Someone else bought it. It's not Australian. We don't make any cars anymore. Yeah. Yeah. That what was the last do? one, I'm pretty Kill sure. Cows. We make, yeah, we, we sell cows. a lot of cows. Make underdogs I mean. videos. Make yeah. Other, yeah. You know, we're technically an export. We are? Yeah. Because we're yeah. taking money from Americans. Yeah, exactly. Like the advertising money comes from America. We Americans. don't take money from Americans. Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, the, the companies. The companies. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Female out viewers. Yeah, also the patrons. Oh, <laughs> shit. We are an export. <laughs> we do take money directly from them as well. Yeah, I didn't realize that because I heard about this thing called like a holiday work visa. I'm like, well, what? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. You're not allowed to work too much is the idea. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, so you don't go to the country, work a bunch, take their money and then leave. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's a thing. So that, do you guys pay like export taxes? If you guys are exports, maybe we shouldn't find this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not. Have let's you guys not, not been paying it. your taxes let's not talk right? About it anymore, hey? <laughs> no, it is pretty cooked. There are a lot of confusing tax things with with it. Yeah, they all come and I just put them straight in the bin. Yeah, it's like you, you got to worry about five, it. There's like a five percent thing that they. T- yeah, keep. And Twitch it like automatically takes it out and stuff. It's all pretty cooked. It's oh. so confusing. I hate it. It is very confusing. Um, should we do embarrassing stories? I think we yes. should. How many do you want to do? This is quite a long one. Should we see how we go? Yeah, let's see how we go. I'm just going to start at the top. The first one in. First served. Read their name out to really put them on blast. Should we? Yeah. Okay. Or maybe maybe just give them a fake name. Like, this one's from no, Lisa. Maybe they want to be known. You know, they always say that in, like, you know, the confessionals, they always have a fake name. Yeah, you give them a fake name, Jordan. Seeing as you can't see it. is Lindosa. Okay. Lindosa. All right. Just making sure that it's not completely inappropriate. All right, seems fine. There's no slurs. This one time for a camp, uh, for a camp, a Clontarf camp, which is basically a group of Aboriginal people. We were going up to Perth to celebrate the end of the year. This one guy had been texting this girl to link up. None of us thought Wait, it would I happen. Lost. Can we start again? This one time <laughs> at camp. So this guy's gone to a camp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Going up to Perth to celebrate the end of the year. So they're probably from down south somewhere. It seems like it, doesn't it? I've heard of Clontarf. Yeah, so have I. This one guy had been texting this girl to link up, following Jordan. None of us thought it would happen, but one thing happened as she came over. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Very nice. 
What the thing twist. was that there were only four beds in the other room, so I stayed in the closet and laid down. <laughs> Is that a metaphor? This what person is a cuck. So, that's, that's, that's a cuck story. As if that's a reasonable thing. So I just had to go in the closet and lie and down. And lie down. <laughs> then, and then seven full stops, they started doing the deed. About halfway through, my Bluetooth headphones disconnected oh. and I had to sit there and basically listen, basically locked in the closet the whole time. <laughs> Also, I can tell they stop for like a half a second. Do you reckon? How, other- how is that a stop? Like, oh, uh, break, half a second. <laughs> yeah, 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 time yeah. out, time out. So back, back back half a second. Uh, Stopwatch starts going oh, off, the alarm goes mate. off. All right, time for doggy. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that just a rotation of positions? Also, I could tell they stopped for like a half a second. An hour or two later, I was finally allowed out. And yeah, I was about 15-ish at the time. Safe to say, I won't forget it. Very embarrassing. That's pretty funny. I mean, as long as nobody knows that you were in the cuck closet, then I think it's fine. I'm giving that... A seven. It's not embarrassing on you. It's just kind of an awkward yeah. situation. Traumatic, not embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. I would say it's necessarily I embarrassing. So. I think it's a funny story. I'm going to downgrade it to a five. I yeah, think I'll so give it a six. For something to be embarrassing, I'd be like, oh, why are you telling me this? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This one's just like, that is pretty funny. I would tell that story. Yeah. Yeah. You know, five. I'll give it a four. Okay. Out of 10, by the way, I guess. Three. Three? Yeah. I'll give it a five. I think the cut calls it is pretty cursed. Yeah. All right, next one. Thanks for the story, though. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. And also a local Lindo. from, from Luce, our uh, Lin- Lindoza. 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 I forgot. Lucina's ankles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nick, a fake name, please. Uh, Gregor. All right, Gregor. So I was there delivering pizza to a customer. I really, really had to pee. Badly. However, I was about 15 minutes from my store, so I had the not-so-bright idea to pee in the little shed after I handed them their food. Oh, my God. Like and their make sure shed in yeah. the person's shed. Oh, like you deliver the no, pizza pee. to their house. Yeah, beside their little shed after I handed them their food and made sure they were inside. Oh. I peed for so long that the guy was wondering why my car was still in his driveway. Oh, <laughs> no. This is embarrassing. <laughs> to my surprise, I hear behind me, hey, is everything okay? Thinking quick on my feet, I quickly lifted up my pants through his receipt and pretended that the wind had been blowing his receipt away and I didn't want to litter on his property. To this day, I'm unsure if he knew my real reason for being behind his shed, and it haunts me to this day. <laughs> Do you reckon his pet? Like, you can't just stop, you no, know? That's going. Oh, you, can, you can pinch it off. Can you? Tie if a little you, knot. If you've got good kegel strength. Yeah, maybe oh. you're just going to. You don't need kegels, Jordan? No, nah, I haven't been doing that. Wait, you should get onto that. Next time you take a piss, just have a break halfway through. If you can Let's do it without do clenching it. your asshole, this is a tip for the fans. It's going to be good for you. What? You can do it without clenching your asshole. Yeah, if you like, that's that's a true kegel without clenching your asshole. Oh, if really? You Otherwise, breathe. you're just tensing everything. Yeah. So if you can, can you do it now? You can like, I can do it. No, I can't do it. I might. You can use it to stop you yourself from coming as well. <laughs> did the, ta- did the fans you, need that uh, test? Uh, did they ask for it? Cut it out if you want to cut it out. <laughs> yeah, edit up. This one's on you, buddy. Yeah, if, you, if you leave it in, it's in. <laughs> if you thought Not that was useful, fault. No, no, no. We just say the things. <laughs> yeah, we, we just talk and the editor saves us. That's yeah. how it works. Um, so, yeah, I'm giving that one. That's a six. Oh, ping. It's pretty bad. But Seven. He, he didn't really get caught, so I'm going to keep it at a yeah, five. I'm gonna I reckon it. they did get caught. If, if you got called out, it'd be much more embarrassing. Yeah, but I think they got caught. I think the ambiguity kind of gives it a bit of mystery. You've yeah, been haunting. Yeah. 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 Throwing did I, a receipt. I? Surely they didn't actually... like Throwing well, a receipt doesn't like, work. The receipt's all Flops. soggy and shit. It lands <laughs> in a puddle. Oh. And he's like, I'm just getting this... I it's thought he was going to pull his pants up and then he's like couldn't stop it and then it was just going to be piss all yeah. in his oh, I pants. thought he was going to turn around because he got jump scared and piss all over the oh. guy. I'm giving it a six. Yeah, I'll give it a six. I'll it wasn't too crazy. I'll give it a six. I there think the go. cut closet one is equal with that one. Yeah, that's to me, I kind of agree. Maybe slightly more. Right, Peter, fake name. Uh, uh, Barry. Barry. Hey guys, love the podcast so much. Thanks, Here's Barry. my most embarrassing story. When I was in high school, grade 10, I used to be in a band. In band, we used to have this thing called All Night Ensemble where the school band would spend the night practice for 30 minutes in the beginning of every hour. For example, at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. What? Holy shit. That, what a doesn't weird sound thing legal. To do. That doesn't sound legal with year, what was it? Year 10. Wait, they can't sleep. No sleeping. They just rock out for 30 minutes and then have a rest for 30 minutes. Maybe, you know, they, they might make some good music. You know, your brain starts doing funny True. things. True. You're like more creative asleep. when you're but they're about like, to sleep. It's a, a school band. You're not like making it. Oh, maybe you this are. This is some like some one time on band camp type shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they just didn't sleep. Anyway, yeah. go on. And the end goal was that at 6.30 a.m. the whole band would perform in front of the district band directors, the ones that would fund the band program for schools. Whose so, idea was this? 6.30 a.m. Now it's starting to sound like it was their idea. All night a band thing. Thing, right? Yeah, like how does that sound like a good idea? It's year, year ten. So stupid stuff sounds like a good idea. I think. Yeah, 
It's like, let's practice. Let's stay up all night and play video games. You're like, brilliant. And then in the morning, yeah. you know, present it. To yeah, the present your video game. Yeah. <laughs> so when we were practicing, when we aren't practicing during the night, we have free time to roam around the school and have fun, albeit with some rules and restrictions, like not going to restricted areas in certain classrooms. So they did get approval, I guess. Yeah, sounds like it was officially run by the school. We could eat junk food that we ordered and play video games on giant projectors as well. So what happened to me was that we were assigned roles for the music we were to play for the morning show and I was given lead role for my instrument. I was super nervous and excited as well. I was going to be a lead player with a solo part. This is a long story. Barry's popping off. So everything was going well during the night. I had a lot of food and play games with friends and we were done with practice for the hour. But as the morning started creeping in, so was my fatigue. This is well written. Yeah, I, this is a bit, I love this. A bit of foreshadowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, the fatigue is creeping in, but that's coming up later. Yeah, let's go. We'll circle back. Shout, shout out to Barry. Um, I thought I'd be fine for the last two hours, and I was somewhat right up until the last, until the actual performance. When the time came to play the music, that my, uh, when the time came to play the music to the band district directors, I was so tired that midway when my part was coming up, I fell asleep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Turns out that of course, when my solo act came up, it was dead silent except for a loud snore. Wow. <laughs> it's like the, oh, the band all stops and it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got some weird sort of singing going on. Yeah. Everyone tried waking me up, but of course, by the time they did, the directors already knew what had happened and started deducting points. I love the directors not concerned about this kid's like mental well-being. Yeah. Negative uh, points. Negative. Well, okay, so there's points. So it's a competition, right? Yeah, they're going to fund people with like, the most points. This is like, you know points. how they were like, we're making it to regionals in the movies. Very it was regional one of those. vibes. Okay, just... I still don't understand how... The, the lore that, this of this perfect. world is quite confusing, yeah, is crazy. isn't it? Um, now that wouldn't be so bad, and it sure... Wouldn't be so bad, and sure, it was embarrassing enough, but of course it gets worse. Oh, no, oh, no Barry. My bandmates tried to save the performance by keeping the music going, and the guy beside me tried to shake me awake. Now I'm a savvy sleeper, so he really <laughs> needed to shake me to wake me up. <laughs> As he did, I woke up and threw up all over the girl in front of me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Also, we got a failing score and no kidding, I was immediately kicked out of the band. <laughs> Without a doubt, I've never been more embarrassed in my life. The end. That is, uh, that's a nine. That's, that's a goddamn nine. Embarrassing that's a, situation. I was like, oh, falling asleep. That's pretty embarrassing. Oh, no, throwing no. up on oh someone in front God. of everyone. Well, also, worse. this situation should never have occurred. Yeah, and there's know? a lot of interesting facts about that. Is this sort of real? Thing. Oh, my This was God. a stitch up. This is too specific to be made up. Well, it's okay. Like, Shadow Curbs is completely out of himself and said, hell yeah, my story. So. There you go. It wasn't Greg or whatever you said. Barry. Barry. Shadow, Shadow Curbs. Curbs. What the fuck? Is this real Shadow Curbs? I'll give it a nine. It's too specific to be made up. Oh, it's, it's like, crazy. oh, so we have this thing where we play bad for half an hour and then yeah, fuck around. Come come it's like, what? Half an hour. Nobody would make this up. Half an hour every hour. I remember. It's so stupid. They're like on shifts and shit. <laughs> like, it's like, what? Back when uh, Lil Z and I were in a band, I remember getting up on stage one time. We we're playing a nice Sidonia by Muse. Banger. And, uh, you know, there's a little guitar solo at the, at the start. Yeah. And I just like completely forgot to play it. And so, <laughs> oh, no. And it's quite a long solo, too. So for a solo like two minutes, the whole band was just going. With nothing else going on. You're just like, not again. Yeah. I can, I can actually picture that. And you know what's funny about Nick when he plays guitar is he makes his concentration really? face where he like plays with his tongue inside his mouth. So he's like, <laughs> like doing this like pose while this, everyone's like, where's the song? When did you realize that you missed your solo? They just skipped it and the singing came in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the whole intro of the song was just... Holy shit. Yeah. That's pretty funny. It was actually for a competition too. Uh, like Battle of the Bands. The oh, high school wow. Thing. Did you throw up? I didn't throw up, but uh, we did lose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they started deducting points. Yeah. Where there was no solo. No solo. All right, should we go one more? Yeah, yeah I think so. Does anyone here yeah, have an embarrassing story like that? Because that is pretty funny, the band one. I don't have anything like that. I've kind, kind of, of told, told ours, I feel like. Yeah, pissing I feel like pants, pissing pants. Because he's never here. I don't, I don't say you need to expose yourself if you don't want to. Or if you can't have anything to mind, but... Yeah. I mean, I feel like playing French horn in orchestra was embarrassing enough. Oh, that, that's kind of part of... Just Being doing school, yeah. yeah. Having like the lamest instrument in the world that you're never going to keep playing. I mean, there were moments where, you know, you'd wake up early for band or whatnot and I just didn't play. And because I was like third or fourth horn, um, they didn't notice. Well, so you're just <laughs> sitting there with the mouthpiece in your mouth, just like sitting there. Yeah, like you can't sit there. It kind of looks like you're playing. I did in choir as well because <laughs> choir was mandatory and we had to get up at six for it. Yeah. Well. I'd just sit at the back in the bass section and... 
daydream. <laughs> Damn, what a oh, waste shit, of wait, time. Like, they're not going to notice me not singing. There's like 70 yeah, other 70 people, people singing. singing. Wait, oh, we, shit, have we have more, so more many stories. stories. So many. I'm trying Coming to be one of the few likes. Hang on, from Shadow Curb saying, the band directors of the region funded schools depending on how well people can play after only one night of practice. Oh, That's interesting. Literally child torture. That is insane. I don't think you'd be able to do that today. Is yeah. this America? Yeah, that's got to be. be. It must be. Do you, what is, is your education track, system? To Band find the most directors and stuff. It's so American, isn't it? Like to find the like most yeah. talented people. Is Having that a strap? Making everything a competition is aggressively American. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Not saying we don't do stuff like that here, but it's just like such a meme from watching shit, stuff like Glee and all that. We've gone out of order because I. this one starts with, you're going to think I'm lying, but this is 100% true, which is always oh, a good start to a story. Oh, the hook? Yeah. All right, Jordan, fake name. <laughs> Um, Leo. Leo the liar, or maybe not. Why don't we just call him like little Z for one of them so we can pretend right. it's Zach. True. So Zach writes in, <laughs> I was in class where I didn't really know anyone. So one day when we had a sub substitute teacher, I was watching some good old YouTube. I was watching an episode of this pod actually. That is embarrassing. Now this happened to be Cringe. an episode where the infamous Jordan and I have cancer vine boom heard round oh, the world. I watched a clip of that, the short of that. It's pretty unhinged. Yep. It's pretty unhinged. Um, as the silly moment ha happens, I begin to chuckle, then giggle, then laugh harder. I, and I think you can see where this is going. Imagine you're sitting in class minding your own business when a random person you don't know starts hysterically laughing at maximum volume. Everyone in this classroom turns to me, and of course, this is only going to make me laugh harder as I realize the predicament I was in. <laughs> Either I look like a schizophrenic to a bunch of people I don't know, or I try to explain to a bunch of people I don't know why I was laughing so hard, which of course in case you forgot, was a cancer diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, that's how you guys made a classroom think I was mentally unstable. Any, uh, another anyways. Anyways, love the pod and Peter, keep on being based, rip, red pilled and Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> From what a sign off. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. That's that, really funny. Thank you. That's a good, like, that's a good solid eight. Seven. Yeah. 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 How, Honestly, yeah. How do you explain your way out of dude, that the one? The amount of lore for understanding that. You'd have, you know, like the meme of the guy with the whiteboard explaining stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's like explaining while Jordan having seen cancer is making me laugh like an insane person. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about right before that moment we're again? Fucking, do, oh, fucking people in the bar. Someone said, can, I think I said, can we change the topic? Yeah, but what was the topic from? Oh, it was so stupid. It was something to do with sex. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it was something to do with putting things up your asshole. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it might be a combination of the two. Yeah. <laughs> Anal. Right. Um, do you guys want another one or are we happy? I think these are really good. I want one yeah, more. One more. Yeah, you guys yeah, are addicted. Yeah. Even if these are staying in the patron section, if it goes on for too long, I think these are honestly a great read. And there's a lot of them. There's so many. I'm Thanks, trying to patrons. Thank you. Pick, pick ones with I'd love few. to go back to this another week and uh, read more because there's so many. Okay, these don't really have likes at the bottom. I'll just pick a random one. <laughs> All right, fake name, please. Nick. Uh... Samugi. Samugi writes in, the most embarrassing thing I can remember was around high school junior year in ninth grade and I was 14 years old. All started with a girl I was friends with, but not very close. One time I saw her crying because of something that a guy did to her. So I went there to comfort her. Nice. But now I think about it, it was a bad idea because I fell in love with her for the way she was... Disclaimer, that happened in, in months, not when she cried. Right, Hold so he fell on. in love with her in months, not straight away. Oh, he wasn't like, damn, right. this is hot. Oh. That's embarrassing. That is good save, good save. We hang out, yo movies, I'm assuming at movies, arcade, school trip, all of that. I thought we had a connection. So one day a daddo didn't arrive at school and literally there was a store, but there were only two of us in school. What is going on? <laughs> My dad was waiting for me, but since I was a gentleman, I didn't leave her there. Your dad's like, come on, let's go. Oh no, I've lost it. Oh no, my phone Wait, so rotated. He's waiting to get picked up from school at yes. the end of school. It's yep. only him and her. Hopefully this is not And that. dad rocks up. He's like, come on. And he's like, no dad. So basically he's cucking his dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, no. um, please don't do that. Here we go. Uh, my dad then leaves thinking I was somewhere else. Oh my gosh. Ah. I, I go to the rain with her and then she leaves and I'm trying to call my dad to pick me <laughs> up. <laughs> I'll lay with you and then she just gets her lift and leaves him. <laughs> My dad is angry as fuck. He didn't know what I did. The next day after the after Hello? That she returns to the same dude she was crying, I went to comfort her. Don't know if this is an embarrassing story or a sad one. Yeah, that's just a sad one. Sorry I think to tell it's you. Both. I think it's a bit of both. It's um, only embarrassing now because he's told us, but it wasn't embarrassing in the moment. Yeah, you didn't get exposed in front of anyone unless she went and told everyone. It's like, that's oh, just, this little beta that bitch. That feels like one of those moments you wake up like five years later in the middle of the night. You're like, oh. Yeah, it's like, like what was I spine. thinking? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I think we've sad. all done like some pretty stupid stuff for love in high school. Oh, oh with girls and stuff. And like being the, the per like it was 
there's always like, oh, I won't come for you. And it's like, Dick, that's not a good strategy for picking up girls, guys. Yeah. It's just not a good play. Like, right, be nice, me, sure. Let me give you one more. There's a TLDR for both, and I'm going to read them out and you can pick. Oh, we get to Ooh. read the TLDR. All right. Language barriers can make you shit your pants. Oh, that sounds good. I'm on board for this one. Always pee before getting on a school bus. I want the first one. I think the second one. I think the first one's just going to be like they're lost and, I've been in, in another a country. Similar situation to that first one, I think, in China. Go on. Oh, that was so funny. Go on. Uh, have I not already told the China poo story on a podcast? <laughs> Someone See, has. See, I said he's one of the best shit I've ever met. I feel like it's he's one like, of the first things. He's, he's not just on. the poo story, it's the China poo story. China poo story. <laughs> the China poo story in 2018? Yeah, which China poo story was this? <laughs> yeah. um, go on. Well, you want me to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so I was in China with... Uh, <laughs> no way. Zach yep. and a, uh, another friend. And, and a bowel uh, full of poo, presumably. I'd been constipated, a little oh. bit backed up, not yeah. enough fiber. You know Ooh. that changing, changing cuisine moment you yeah. when you're yeah. like in another country? So the idea oh, is, is like if you, you go Chinese food to Western food, you get plugged. Yeah. And if you go the opposite way, it's... Runny. Yeah, you know, yeah, liquid. Unplugged. So I'd been uh, <laughs> you know, constipated for a few days now. Um, and had some very spicy hot oh, pot, no. Sichuan chili oh, hot pot. My. Uh, and then the day after that, we were getting on a bus, a 10 hour long bus ride. So you're like a bathtub that's full. Yeah. I'm a whole waiting. water bottle oh. of uh, chili shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't put that on the vivid t-shirt. Imagery, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. And, uh, yeah, obviously, <laughs> you know, I'm going show. on a bus. So I um, spent the morning prior uh, sitting on the toilet, just nothing. Um, a solid hour on the toilet. You know nothing. that it's coming, though. Yeah, like, I'm like, there must be something there. Yeah. I'm not an empty shell. That was too spicy and too Asian for me to not be. Yeah, and I also haven't shat for three yeah. days at this point. Oh, oh my God. My. Anyway, we get on the bus, um, an hour into the bus ride, you know, Get you the can gurgles. Feel oh, yeah, I hate yeah. this story. Oh, sphincter start oh, opening. The build up. So I say to uh, my sphincters friend. Sphincter start opening. Yeah. Oh my God, let's go. Well, like, yeah, how you have two sphincters in yeah, your yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah, it's time to go. Wait, yeah, I don't then, know this. Then, okay, this through work? your didactive track, there's many sphincters. A sphincter's just like a muscle that's a circle. Oh, and that's what can pushes and pulls. Oh, it's like a it's you like a valve. It's like a gate. Yeah. It's like a, yeah, it's like a gate. And so there's like a few levels yeah. as it descends. I think there's... Like your bum sphincter, and then there's one that's the final behind level. It. That's the boss. And yeah. when uh, that one opens, and the and the the poo it's enters of, that final gate, yeah. that's head when sort of it's shit. like sending messages to your brain, being like, "Time to poo." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Still the shit. Sorry, I'm following sorry. 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 along. <laughs> anyway, so like I feel it coming. So I said to my friend Andy, who like knows how to speak Mandarin, and I'm like, "Can you go up and ask the bus driver to stop?" Yeah. Um, because this is my sphincter is open. Tell so them the sphincter thing when you talk. Yeah, to what, them. What's, what's sphincter in Chinese? <laughs> and what's your plan? Just gonna run off and like shit on the side of the road, let it loose. Just or just like next time you pass a town or something, like just pull over. Oh, you're trying to hold. You're yeah. trying to hold. So he goes up and Sphincter's comes switched. back, and uh, and he's like, "Oh, the bus driver says next stop's not for a couple of hours." <laughs> so I'm like, "All right, I'll uh, try and hold it." Obviously, it gets worse and worse. I'm sitting next to a oh. completely random person, yep. by the way, and I start, you know, doing the oh, the a bit of scooching. hip movements. Yeah, um, gets worse. I end up standing up yep. in the. I think that, that that's helps. worse, doesn't it? Nah, sitting no, down. sitting's the worst. Well, yeah, you want to try and well, you know how like squatting is the best alignment. Oh, then okay, okay. And maybe sitting's the next best alignment for shitting. Yeah, and then standing's the worst alignment. Yeah. Okay, okay. And um, keep that in mind, Jordan. All right. I won't lie. Got to the point where I did insert a finger <laughs> to try and cork it up in there. Any luck? Well, yes. It <laughs> to, do that, to do that, you need to open one of the sphincters, right? Isn't that risky? Well, it's like opening my last sphincter. Yeah, your last guard. Yeah. yeah you like just, you stood to down the last guard it. and you yeah. said, I'll take it from here. And this whole time, in. I'm yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Andy, you got to get this guy to stop. If he doesn't stop soon, I'm just going to shit in one of the plastic yeah. bags that yeah. they use for bins on the bar. So yeah. like, I just get to the point where I don't care. Yeah. If, oh, and so he, he runs up to the bus driver and uh, is explaining the situation to him. Comes back and he's like... You can just see him doing like a finger action. Yeah, he's yeah. doing all his motions. <laughs> Plugged up, yep. Um, and Andy's like, okay, so there's some toll gates coming up and there's usually a line. When we hit the line, he's, he can let you off. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, like to go through the gates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, but he said basically if you don't make it back onto the bus, yeah, by the time they go yep. 
through. Like he's just leaving you there yep. in the middle of rural China. That's so scary. So yeah, like I've never run faster. I found a like little hut that I sat down, shat behind. It's like a cork. One solid bit and then <laughs> Oh the poo was it's like a yeah. champagne bottle. Literally. It made a similar noise actually. <laughs> Luckily, had toilet paper. Rule number one: traveling China, always carry toilet paper. Because it's rule number one. I think there's a few more rules. No, that's no. number one. That's there's number actually a sign one. as you get off the plane. <laughs> rule, rule number, number two is carry your sphincters. <laughs> <laughs> if you're onto your last, put your finger up. And then yeah, so did it. Only took a couple of seconds. It was yep. pretty fast. Wiped a couple of seconds. That's crazy. Like two you must seconds. Have unleashed. I had very little muscle control at that point. <laughs> he did a oh. fucking Jackson Pollock on the wall. It's completely involuntary at that point. What? Um, and then yeah, Jackson ran back Pollock. to the bus, and the bus was literally like accelerating as I jumped on. Yep. I was like, oh, you like know, seconds movie. away from uh, being left. Jumped being on a left. moving bus. Wow, that's hype. So that's, that's a my, ten. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's the funny. I actually uh, I had a job at a food store once, and on the last night we had a few wines, and yeah. I actually ended up telling my boss that story. Brilliant. Um, so that's kind of embarrassing. Didn't work there anymore, hey? Don't work there anymore. Yeah, it's a very like is that related or sixty year old man, and I'm seeing that. Telling him about this shit I did yeah, a couple like, of years ago. So you were like, oh, finger, finger, started putting two fingers up, the whole hand. That Those go crazy. one of two ways, though, because sometimes conservative people like hearing unhinged things because their life's not very unhinged, but didn't go that way. He was very quiet. Yes, okay. Wait, so conservative, no. not, I'm thinking like American got No, guns. not politics. Okay, yeah. I just mean like <laughs> old fashioned, are, I yeah, guess. Reserved. Res- like you conserve your feelings. Like, uh, I've got some, some comments on that one. I feel bad for anyone eating and listening. Yep, sure, sure should have had a warning, my bad. This is my new favorite poo-poo story. A pod-poo story. <laughs> <laughs> my new favorite pod-poo story. Yeah, Sounds poo-poo. like a movie. It does sound like a movie. Dude, now you can say, Dude, my life's like a movie, yeah. baby. Yo, the only thing that, that, that would have made that better that is like hole. intense music playing the whole time. Yeah. As I'm running onto the bus. And Brad Pitt playing Andy. <laughs> yeah. And Jake Basically. Black playing Zach. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. And uh, yeah, that's the underdog's next tier list, poo story tier list. That's an S for me. Yeah, that's a good one. It had suspense. You've told that story a few times, I can tell you've constructed it nicely. I actually yeah, told that poo story at uh, Zach's 18th birthday party as well. Why? It came up. <laughs> it came up organically. Yeah, conversation. You know, everyone poos. Everyone does poo. It's that, the one thing we have in yeah. It's like we're talking about comedy, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. You know, there's different genders, different races. Everyone poos. True that. I think we'll just leave the embarrassing stories there. I think you've nailed it. Yeah, I think that was... But we were going to read someone else's. Oh, sorry. But no, we'll we come back to them. There's, they were f- more enjoyable than I thought. Was like on another be. pod. Yeah, I yeah, did yeah. enjoy yeah. them a lot. That was very good. <laughs> They're stored up in the bank. Mm. If my, you're my poo was. Listening. All right. <laughs> can we, we move it on or... Yeah, if you're listening and you're, not, uh, and you're on the Patreon, feel free to pop your embarrassing stories there if you want to be... Is that a exposed. Patreon post? Yes, Patreon post to uh, leave a comment. Get involved. Oh and also gosh. like the best ones. So. Yeah, please, so that we can find. I should have read them before, but you know, that's who we are. Like the best ones, we'll see the best ones at the top. Yep. Yes. Well, how long have we been going for? We got uh, next oh, segment. We Come always on. ask Zach. Yeah, we got next segment. Yeah. I'll oh, check while true. Nick thinks of his segment. I mean, when he. Right. No, I've thought of one. I thought of one. And it actually ties in beautifully with our embarrassing stories. Oh, brilliant. Weirdly enough, like. How long have we Almost been as if I was inspired. This is where Peter says we haven't been recording. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Perfect. I thought it was longer. Well, this is a short segment. I just That's great. Um, want everyone to say one very embarrassing story from their high school experience. Oh. I don't think I have any that I haven't told before. I've repressed yeah, that's the thing. Them. We've, uh, we've said out all our high school. All my, of them? my shitty... I probably, yeah. Let me see mm. if I can think of a number two. Not a number two. I don't think I really had anything either. embarrassing in high school either. I can't really... Nothing comes to mind. I just repressed them all so much I can't think of them anymore. I feel like I had so many. This <laughs> 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 segment's saying a lot about you. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of much either other than shitting my pants. Which we have talked we've, about. I think we've well, gone enough, length enough, that one. Yes. Yeah, we? Anything not poo-related, vomit, semen, you know, etc. Any like... Non-crass. What about like the r- 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 romance ones? They're always good because when I you're like a teenager, or you have... When I was, oh, okay. yeah. was going to say, it? that's when you make all the mistakes, you know, when you're young. Oh, certainly. But surely you make the like mistakes, crushes, Jordan. You know? Yeah, but just nothing really happened. You didn't really I was just too much of a nerd. Yeah. I was like, a little beta. Ooh, that girl's that's embarrassing nice. in itself. But I didn't even have... so. See, I, I didn't have social media, which I then realized after like, oh, 
That's the way you talk to people. Oh, right. It's like people are like Snapchatting each other. Oh, and, yeah. you're just like, and I get back to school the next day and now suddenly these two people are like, like How'd that cuddling happen? around. And I'm like, what the, the, what the What's hell? What's going on here, guys? There's some, there's some secret business. So what did, what did mean you didn't have social media? Like I didn't have Facebook or anything. Until when? I started using it, I think, around year 11, maybe. Wow, that's yeah, crazy. Same as me. So then, like, 8, 9, and 10, I'm like, what's going on over here? That's insane. Did you not feel excluded? 11 or 12 or something. No, well, I used to just hang out with my friends after school. It was just like, you weren't friends. worried about everyone else. That's a good way to be. Yeah. yeah that's was it 11 or 12. Maybe even after high school, I really started using it. Um, Did this... you have um, girls in your friend group at high school or no? Because um, I feel like that was kind of a catalyst for us doing more stuff like that. Yeah, not really. We had some, but then they already like had a boyfriend in a group kind uh, of thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, not really. They were yeah. imports. <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> with our we had like the boys group and the girls group in year eight and like nine or whatever. Yep. Yeah. And then like there was a huge deal because we like merged the groups. Oh. Except there were some people who wanted to stay as just a boys group and some people who wanted to stay as a girls group. So yep. we were in the mixed group. I get ya. With like some leftovers in each side yep. and it all everyone just grew apart, but that was like a defining moment of I'd say my my high school life chaos absolute chaos it was ridiculous hormones everywhere were you involved in this yeah, yeah. Nick was in the merger as well any comments on the merger oh uh, yeah it was just crazy like, like I don't know what to do with how myself. do we organize <laughs> doing this like what a weird thing to do is like all right we're gonna merge our groups like I think there was just a horny year nine that was just like time to it's get some girls in here <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it That's wasn't me. Yeah. I had puberty. I was fucking years off. I forgot about that. All the groups and stuff. I remember that high school having like a bunch of different groups. Yeah, yeah. yeah isn't it groups. crazy to think that's how much you define yourself? And I know that a lot of people watching the podcast are still in this phase of their life as well. Yeah. It's crazy to think back on. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm in this group. And then there was like and the big group that I was also like friends with. But yeah, I never got on social media. I just talked to people at school. And yep. they're like, oh, that was fun. Then I go home. Yeah, I'm friends with a few people from my school now that <laughs> I wasn't enough. friends with. Yeah. It's oh, weird. really? Yeah, big time. Like from different groups completely? Yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. what was that? Sorry? I'm friends with different people than I was friends with in school. Like, I don't really see anyone that I was friends with in school anymore. Oh, that's yeah. so interesting, actually. Like, a um, friend of the show, Nomad, was not in my friend group. But obviously, yeah. through Smash. Although I'm not, I don't see it much anymore. But, you know. Yeah, I actually had my first friend date on. Monday, oh, respect from my best friend in primary school. Wow. Who then moved away wow. to Germany and then Melbourne. Yep. And then I saw him again. It Did you have this great. mode of what do we do now? No, actually, we, we, I'd seen him a couple times when I went over to Melbourne for BAM. I'd met up with him yep. and then I saw him one other time. But no, it was chill. We kind of just went out and went to have lunch and then we just talked for like four hours. At like That's pretty wholesome. We just chatted. What was, base did you get to? <laughs> Fourth base. No, no, yeah, oh, sure. oh, no, no, no. It was um, Home it was run. good though. Homer. It was just like, that's not. Right. <laughs> Hold me. Um, what were we talking about? Friends. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I really threw. The, I was not helpful to the conversation. Hold me. But yeah, Homie. it was like I used to be like best friends with him, and then I had like some more like best friends in high school. Like I had really good friends in high school, and then just like as soon as. Like I left high school, I was like, oh, I didn't have social media. Who's so your best friend now? Do you have again. a best friend now? No, not really. Not really. No, it's just kind of hanging out. Me or Peter or... <laughs> <laughs> It'd be Holly, right? But like that's oh, cheating. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't count as your best friend, I don't think. I no. actually, I've come to realise, Peter, that you and I are quite unique in that all of our like close friendships from high school, like we still I know, right? see each other frequently. <clears throat> or most of them. But it's not like it's a whole group thing either. It's crazy. Yeah. It's very strange. Because a lot of people I talk to, you know, they lose contact with a lot of their yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's because you changed, but maybe you guys didn't change as much. Oh, yeah. We have not grown up a single bit. <laughs> I mean, I still like Green Day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I still changed. do YouTube videos. Yeah. You know, it's just all respect. That's the secret. You don't have to. You just don't grow up. That's a good tip. Should we end the podcast yep. there? <laughs> <laughs>